What's up, guys? This is your daily twin flame reading. Today is the 30th of August. It's the day that I'm reading um, the energy, not necessarily the day that you'll resonate with it. So what are we going to do today? Today we have, I pulled some oracle and kind of clarified some oracle to read the overall energies for both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And then once I go over the overall energy, we'll start by reading the masculine and then we'll read the feminine's energy and close it out from there. Today's reading was brought to you by my brand Gym Body. It is fitness apparel, fitness sweaters in particular. People like me, we like to work out in sweaters and I created a, a brand um, that's conducive to that lifestyle, conducive to healthy lifestyle and balance of the body. We, we rush these readings and we do things to balance our spirit. We read and educate ourselves to balance our mind. We need to make sure that we're also taking care of, loving and appreciating our body as well. And Gym Body is helping and assisting in that initiative and encouraging and that initiative. If you want to support my new store and my pre-order effort, click the link in my description. I'll definitely provide a link um, in the comments. Okay, so Divine Masculine. What, um, so for the overall energy, it's just not for the Divine Masculine, but it's also for the Feminine too. So we have Daughter Romance. I know you guys can't see it all the way. Really, I need to expand this. Can I expand this table? Uh, it's, this desk is pretty heavy, but I really want you guys to start seeing this. Um, anyway, so we have Door to Romance. Clarified by Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and Nine of Cups. What I'm getting from this is, one, the number 33. The number 33 resonates, and I've seen the number 33 already twice and within 30 minutes. When you see the number 33, it means that you're, you're in the, on the verge of a creative breakthrough. It could be creating, um, creating with spirit, co-creating with spirit, creating a partnership, pre creating a fetus, you know, a baby, creating something love you could be creating anything and when you see the number 33 that means you're in alignment you're on you're on the verge what you're doing is something good it's something amazing and you're on the verge of a major breakthrough as it pertains to what you're creating at that time then we have clarifying it the eight of pentacles the ten of pentacles and the nine of cups just basically exactly what that means it's if you're working on something that is going to enter put you in a new phase of life and it's very blessed the stars are aligning so it's like what you're doing, spirit supports it. So even if it's manifesting and working on this partnership, on a new phase of life with the divine masculine and the feminine, spirit not only supports it, it encur spirit encourages it, and spirit is working on it with you. Then we have action, 17. This is the offer being made because it's clarified by the four of swords, king of swords, and the page of cups. This is re-energizing um, yourself to come forth with an offer to it could be a masculine coming forward with an offer to the feminine or it, it's some type of action being taken to be able to offer um page of cups you know i always want to say this cup of love but it's opportunity um to come together so it's like rejuvenate rejuvenating yourself going within meditating and getting re-energized and prepared to come forth and take action on this partnership so far, we have entering a new phase of life. We have blessings. We have the door of romance and the spirit working with you and, and supporting exactly what it is that you're trying to create. If it's this partnership, amazing. If it's something else that you're creating, that's amazing too. Then we have you taking action on that, making decisions, putting forth an offer. So it could be an offer made to the feminine front and masculine as it pertains to this partnership to enter a new phase of life. Then we have storm warning. The emperor... And the two of cups clarifying storm warning. I'm not getting storm though. I'm getting completion with the number 10. I'm getting this the storm being over. I'm not getting storm per se, but when divine partners are coming together, you also have you have the opposition who's not gonna be happy about this partnership come to get, coming together. So while I'm not getting storm as it pertains to like your personal life or as it pertains to um, 
yeah, like your life per se. I'm getting storm as it pertains to completing this phase and the opposition not being happy about it and using people to get in the way of the connection. But it's not it's not gonna work. You you have spirit supporting you, you have the masculine with his mind made up, taking action, and the feminine on board. This is what I'm getting. The feminine is on board here. We do have the hangman here and a page of wands, so that could be some sort of inaction as well but on this bottom of the deck. But we have um, the opposition trying to stop this partnership, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Nobody can stop God's plans. So we have, um, this, don't be worried so much about this storm because everything is going wonderful in the lives of the masculine and feminine. It's just going to be maybe a little challenge coming together as a pair as a as it pertains to opposing forces not liking these two people coming together on the bottom of the deck we have man holding a coin and we had um emperor well this does not relate to this reading but i felt the energy of it so we have man holding on the emperor just a man holding the coin pertains to opportunity a divine masculine coming forth with an opportunity of advancement, an opportunity of partnership, an opportunity to come together. Cool, cool, cool. So the overall energy action being taken to bring this bring this creation together. Yeah. Let's stop there and let's start reading the masculine's energy and see what's individually going on in the masculine's life. So today, whether you resonate with the divine masculine, or divine feminine, you'll be able to tell. Sometimes the readings are, you know, sometimes the feminine resonates more with the masculine energy, the person who resonates with, usually with the feminine, and sometimes it is normal. So we'll see what comes up for each individual energy. And let's start with the masculine. Don't forget to check out my books on Amazon, guys. Um, the Personification of Beauty is a really good book. I have not had one complaint. This one lady told me that after reading that, she looked forward to getting up and going to work every day. <laughs> that's a very, that's an amazing compliment. So, guys, let's support authors. You know, I didn't do enough marketing on my books before, but I will definitely uh, start telling more people about them because it really does help your life's advancement. All right, so what's going on, Spirit, with the masculine and the collective? I ask that you come forth a message that uh, resonates with, that I understand, that I can um, relay properly, and that that the collective resonates with as well. So as it pertains to the cards that was already pulled, what this energy that from over here in these overall energy cards, I ask for a message that resonates with that as well. Divine masculine update. So far we have the full card. And for some reason I, I kept going, so I'm pull one more before I start talking about that. Interesting. But I really think it's... um. Okay, so we have the sun. I don't know. It was a lot of Leo energy, so you know, in these readings lately. Um, but we have the fool and we have the sun. We already resonated with re-energizing, getting ready to come forth with an offer. So what I feel like this is just saying is gaining, regenerating thoughts, regen getting gaining energy, getting ready for this next phase. It'll put the energy into this partnership, and with the fool, I'm getting increasing faith um to come forth to the feminine with an offer so ma masculine is probably just self-encouragement and increasing his or her faith getting in tune and balancing feminine spiritual energy in order to rejuvenize and rejuvenate him or herself to come forth with an offer to the feminine because the sun is also about manifestation and an abundance and, and creation and things manifesting in material form. So just getting ready for this partnership to not only be in the spiritual realm, but also the physical realm. Um, yeah, to manifest it in the physical as well. And we have the two of wands on the bottom of the deck adding um, strategy and planning 
to come forth with an offer. What should I do? How should I do it? When should I do it, basically? Wheel of Fortune, right there. Then we have Three of Cups, clarified by the Four of Pentacles. So when we pull these Three of Cups, sometimes it refers to like a third party situation or just a you know celebration, but also a situation where it's with more than one person. So it's deciding who to hold on to. So I hope, you know, masculine, we're supposed to be out of this energy. We're supposed to move, you know, last reading, masculine knew what he, what he wanted. This reading, I'm still getting that, knowing what you want, having the faith and rejuvena rejuvenating and um, regenerating your energy and um, being rejuvenated to come forth with an offer, a strategic offer to feminine. But here it's like, yeah, okay, all right. So the thought that just came to mind was, I choose you. So it's basically choosing one and holding one to him or her. Just choosing you out of everyone, out of other interested parties, choosing one and holding one to that person. Yeah, just choosing one. I don't get third party situation. I honestly don't get confusion either. With this four of pentacles, I'm getting choosing someone to move forward with. Choosing one. I'm not getting third party situation. I'm getting choosing one. Judgment. Ace of Cups. All right, with the Judgment Ace of Cups combination, yeah. Again, this is about manifestation. Remember, the overall energy is creating. So, wow. We don't know what the feminine is working on, but we know the, mas the masculine is working on creating on this partnership and coming together with this partnership. So with that being said, we also saw the number three meeting, you know, um, the spirit is with you and supporting your creative efforts and you're on the verge of a major breakthrough. So masculine is on the verge of a major breakthrough coming together with this plan and holding on to the feminine and to manifest it in um, material world, physical world, in the physical realm, you know, where we live, <laughs> uh, where our bodies live. And then we have Judgment and Ace of Cups adding receiving abundance and blessings from God, from the divine, um, and our cup runneth over. This is fulfillment. This is happiness. This is emotional cups running over, feeling good, things manifesting as it pertains to the, our desires. So this is love. Love, 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 an overflow of love, receiving an overflow of love from the divine, from this connection. This is blessings, um, and this is anticipation energy. I feel like this is anticipating how things are going to be. This is anticipating love and opportunity with the feminine. Because look at here. You see how the two of pentacles is looking forward to it in anticipation? anticipating love anticipating new beginnings but this is also being blessed and the angels and the stars aligning and, and being blessed by god bringing this connection together anything else for the master not taking no for an answer we have the knight of swords and eight of cups combination masculine is not going to take no for an answer and not in a forceful kind of way, but in a this is what I want kind of way. You bring me happiness. You bring me joy. You are the person that I'm supposed to be with. And with, with <laughs> the stars aligning for the masculine and divine guys, ancestors, and angels being on the masculine team too. You may not be happy with the masculine right now because it took him so long or her so long. You might not be um, happy with the timing of things. Or you may feel some kind of way about him or her. But spirit, and first of all, you might even already be together in the spirit room. You, if you're having dreams about this person, if this person is coming to you, and not because you overindulge in thoughts about them, but if you go, do you not even think about them, and you go to sleep and they're in your dreams. But when you have a masculine and a divine masculine, sometimes they're in your thoughts anyway at all times. But if you're not actively thinking about them or anything or talking about them, and you go to sleep and they visit you in a dream. Um, one, my masculine healed me in a dream before. It's like we're already connected in spirit realm. So you may already be connected in spirit realm. So that spirit supports this connection. It's going to be on his team or her team. 
Ooh, I took some medicine and my stomach is hurting right now. I should have ate more. Ooh, try not to. Stop. So yeah, I'm not taking no for an answer because Masculine knows this is what he wants and he's going for it. And spirit is with him. Anything else for the masculine's energy spirit? Okay, I don't know which one's really the problem. King of Swords, Page of Wands, interesting. Five of Swords, King of Swords, energy. And we'll leave it there. In the bottom of the deck is the Chariot, which is forward movement. Yep, forward movement to get the feminine. But with this King of Swords, Page of Wands, and Five of Swords energy, so the, all right, so here he's fighting and not taking no for an answer. It may be some sort of competition that's getting in the way of the feminine answering. The masculine is making a clear decision. So it could be some sort of competition and I believe this to be true because it's in alignment with the rest of the readings that I've had. You know, my, I have about 300 subscribers. So, and of those subscribers is, you know, select few that watches these readings. So, Maybe there isn't a broad range until broad range of messages that I'm gonna get until I get more subscribers. So a lot of the times my readings will resonate with the people, same people over and over. Unless you're a new subscriber and you resonated with it, that means spirit has brought you to me as well. Anyway, so the other regions have told stories that the feminine has an influx of offers. So masculine is not gonna take no for an answer, and what's getting in the way of a clear decision from the feminine is competition yep competition causing stagnation um from the feminine so that's why the masculine is not taking no for an answer and with the chariot here masculine is ready to move forward so be prepared the offer faith is building energy is building he's strategizing because he's ready he wants to hold on to you okay now let's check on the feminine Okay, so let's move these cards over. So we know what's going on with the overall energy. Let's move masculine's cards up here. Let's check on the divine feminine. Interesting. I had to go and lay down. My stomach was hurting. See, what did I tell you guys about this energy, this Leo energy? Anyway, we have the sun as the first card for the feminine. Shoot, I didn't look at the card. Let's pull another. I did the same thing for the masculine reading. Remember? Okay. Okay, okay. I get it. Okay. All right, guys, so we have the sun for the feminine. Then we have 1010. I came so that they may have life, abundant life. This is more like, let me explain this a little bit because I said a lot in my readings. Um, a lot of people living aren't living in alignment with their true selves, their purpose. They haven't sought spirit. They haven't sought alignment with the dualities of themselves, their mirror self. When you look at a mirror, think of looking into your divine self feminine your spirit and becoming one with god it's three and one so you're not just a body you're three and one a vessel of god on earth a spirit and a body divine masculine divine feminine and the creator all in one okay so if you do not know that it's like you're not living when you become in alignment with your masculine and feminine energies and a creator you become you it's life it's resurrection when um, it's like um, I come so that they may have life and have it in abundance. And Yeshua, Jesus represents manifestation of God on earth, being in alignment with your masculine and feminine energies. Faith works God. Okay. When you're not living like that, you're dead. When you're not living like that, you are I call it zombies. I'm not trying to be rude, but it's like you're a zombie and you can be controlled by the opposition at any moment. These people like that, they don't have control over their emotions. They don't have control over their actions. They're not accountable. That's like, they're not 
in alignment. They're not balanced and they can be used by the opposition at any time to wreak havoc on humanity and try to cause problems for those who are living in alignment. But you're protected as a divine being on earth, you're protected. So when we receive 1010 in a reading as it pertains to someone's life, then resonate with that person becoming in alignment with them true selves, being one with God, balanced in a masculine feminine energy, and because of that, entering new levels of liberation, of freedom, of actual living, of more life. When I say more life, it's light. It's it's um, being in alignment with your true self and receiving from the divine, receiving from the tree of life, eating from the tree of life. That's enough for today. So anyway, the feminine, we have the sun and we have ten ten and we have the tower, but we have the ten of cups and we have a little fortune. Remember here, uh, we have the ten of cups somewhere in a masculine reading as well. For one of these readings, we have the ten of cups. We got the ten pentacles over there. But the feminine is energized by life. She's completing cycles. Here she is completing cycles and Things are about to change for the feminine um, as it pertains to fulfillment, happiness, and family life. And just every the, the whole life is about to change. A lot of us went through a lot of turmoil with Mercury retrograde. And honestly, the spiritual journey, this twin flame journey has not been the kindest. So um, this is a change of events, bringing more happiness and fulfillment into the feminine's life. This is the sun after the storm. This is the rainbow after the storm. Look at this rainbow. This is the stars aligning. Spirit is with the feminine, bringing these powerful changes into his or her life to liberate him or her, to free her, to bless her, and give her all that she desires. Yep. So good things happening in the feminine life. The energy that I've been reading for the feminines, and I've been resonating with it, you know, of course anybody would want to resonate with something like that, is, you know, powerful changes. It's coming. It's it's going to come quick, too. Yesterday's reading, I said, how long is this going to take? And so I pulled the cards, and the eight of wands came out. It's going to come very quickly. In a blink of an eye, in a blink of an eye, things are going to change for the feminine. Okay. Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups. Emotional fulfillment and abundance and blessings. Yeah, the feminine is in a good place. The feminine is in a good place. You know, the stars are aligning. Look at these, all of these cups in the feminine's hand. So life is good for the feminine. And this is not even, this is with or without partnership life is just really good for the feminine and this is the energy i'm getting you could resonate with it now or soon but life is good there's blessings there's fulfillment you're energized by life and possibility fortunate changes the tower but not in a negative way this is when you get the tower and sometimes it's like forcing you into something um but it's like the feminine has already been forced into something and now reaping the benefits of it just in the same energy of the tower, but an influx of positivity, an influx of blessings, an influx of new beginnings for the feminine. And it's bringing emotional fulfillment and happiness. And he or she feels blessed. It's like, no, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. Come on, guys. Can't make this stuff up. Six of Wands. This is success. Guess what came out again? Judgment. This is success. Yes, 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 yes. Success on a level of, and I just referenced Yeshua, and I'm getting that again. This is success on a God level, but receiving on a God level as well. Recognition in the following. Being a leader of a nation. In the, if you've read the Bible, I don't know if you read the Bible, but it says you will be a leader of nations. This is being a leader. Come, when you become in alignment with your true self, you lead industries. 
you you you're a leader in the industry of your desire so whatever it is that you're working on you become a leader in your position a leader in industry a leader in business a leader in writing a leader in singing a leader in music a leader in whatever it is that you're doing when you become in alignment with your true self and spirit is working with you and you're one with god you're a leader of a nation you lead people and you lead industries so this is spirit this is feminine coming into her power and whatever it is she's doing at work, but also receiving recognition in the following because of it. Just like um, Yeshua resurrection. It's like you giving, you giving other people life as well. You know, I'm thinking about Beyonce. She's saying, you know, I give you life. But anyway, teaching people, teaching others the blueprint to more life. Why? Because your life is now an example of what it means to have more life. Super dope, positive, positive, positive energy for the feminine. Do we have any more for the feminine spirit? Feminine is just in good energy. Like, good things are happening for the feminines. Um, good things are happening for the masculines too because the feminine is good for the masculine. It's like, I recognize a good thing and I want it. But hopefully, um, King of Pentacles. Oh, masculine energy. Masculine energy coming in. And see, guys, <laughs> I'm still getting multiple offers. So let's talk about this because we keep getting in and reading in, in the, these readings. So think about being a leader. Think about being a leader in your industry. You know, like who's leaders in an industry? Beyonce, Rihanna. Um, Viola Davis like it's so many people leading in their industry when you are a leader you are going to attract multiple masculine offers you're going to attract multiple people coming into your life or wanting to come into your life when people even smell that you're about to hit or they can smell vultures they smell when you're about to hit and I'm not calling these masculine energy here vultures but when people know you're about to hit they come for you. They come and try to get in your corner. You know, you're, you're going to have to look at your cups. You know, it's like seven of cups energy. You're going to have to make sure, you know, you're not inviting the snakes into your circle. But when you are blessed as it, look at all of these cards are blessings. Even this tower is a blessing in this. It came with the queen of cups, you know, in the um, nine of cups. Just think about it. All of this is blessing. New life, more life, the sun, energized by possibilities, an influx of opportunities come, maximum amount of emotional fulfillment, blessings. We have success and judgment, success on exponential levels, on divine levels, God working on your behalf, resurrection, Yeshua energy, leading others, giving others life by simply existing and following your passion and being one with yourself. You're going to attract multiple masculine energies when you're a bad Biddy, <laughs> when you're a bad biddy, you attract multiple offers. So I'm still getting um, three of cups energy. That's probably why this masculine here. Remember, it's like competition getting in the way of this decision. Yeah, competition is gonna get in the way of the decision because the feminine has to make the decision as best for her. It's just, it's not her fault that the masculine waited to the last minute. You got three of cups energy here too. Three of cups came out twice. Interesting. When to hold on to the feminine now, at first masculine had all these offers, but mm, now feminine has all these offers. And so he or she has to figure out what's best for her. Because life is great. Life is great for the feminine in this energy when it's manifest. So of course it's gonna be most people coming when your life is great they want their life to be great they recognize a great thing and they want it who doesn't want a great thing but beware because the vultures smell you coming the vultures smell you coming too oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah that is so perfect okay so we have the fool we have the eight of cups we have the fool I'm sorry. We have the Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Page of Cups. So when these offers come in, of course, feminine, you're not greedy. You're not a cheater. You're loyal. So you're going to choose 
the offer that's best for you. You got to take a leap of faith on one and let go of the others. Walk away from the others. Decide to go with one of them. And you're going to take a leap of faith and choose one. So when this influx of offers come in, it's going to take some time because we have the page of wands on the masculine side. Remember, we have the page of wands in between the five of swords and the king of swords. So when these offers come in, it's going to take the feminist some time. She's, he or she is not going to immediately act on them because it's going to be so many and it's going to take faith to choose the offer that's best for her. Yep, and it's going to require walking away from some good things that, that you know... It's like the person you thought was your divine partner doesn't come on time or it just doesn't work. It doesn't seem like it's going to work out. And you, you move on, you know, you try to move on. You think about it, but it's like, you know, he's stuck on the karmic or he's doing this or he or she isn't coming in when I wanted them to come in or when I needed them, I felt like to come in. But when you get yourself together, you know, learning with your true self and all of these offers comes in and it's like other opportunities come in. You meet other people and it's like, oh, these offers look good too. Like, oh, I, I never thought I would be with this person, but I really want to be with this person too. So it's like multiple offers coming in from people who are good, people who would you would consider being with. And it's going to be hard to walk away from some of those offers because you might legit love multiple people, but not in a sense of, but you're going to have to choose the one that you really are in love with and want to spend the rest of your life with or want to spend a predominant amount of time of your life with and partner with in this twin flame journey. So I understand the stalling. I understand the, not stalling, but I understand making a decision that's in alignment with your life and, and taking the time to make that decision instead of being impulsive and taking the first one because it's multiple that's coming in. Yep. Five of swords right on that. I think we're done. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I think I was going to keep pulling, but I think we're done. Because that is the energy. It's multiple offers. It's multiple offers coming in. And choosing one and taking a leap of faith and choosing one. You know, I don't think there's any need to continue to pull in because I'm not going to tell you which offer to choose. When they start coming in, that's going to be up to the feminine to get. And if you're, if this is happening to you right now, you want a private reading, click the link in my description. I'll be happy to give you one. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, child. Let me show you all what this bottom of the deck looks like. And this came out in one of my other readings, too. The Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. I was like, what? So, and the Ten of Wands. People are going to be fighting over you, feminine. People are going to fight for you and fight over you. And it's going to be burning some. Man, I'm a Libra. So, Sometimes Libras don't want to say no or don't want to. So, like, if multiple people are fighting over me, it would, it wouldn't, it would be a burden for me. It's not, it wouldn't be something that fed my ego. It would be a burden for me because I would feel bad that I didn't have enough of me to pass around to everybody, and I would have to choose let some people down, and I don't like letting people down. So I understand this energy of making the right decision and taking the leap of faith. And choosing a new life of one. But I also understand the burden that um, comes along with that. And um, who wants conflict? But it's this conflict and this competition is going to be a burden to the feminine. And this is bottom of the deck energy. Um, but it's, a, it's something you're going to go through. That's probably what this storm uh, morning is. It's... What's standing in the way of this partnership? Remember I said not an, it's not like a storm. Like you've overcome a storm. Look at this. This is blessings. This is love and finally knowing who you want for the masculine and, and making an offer. And for the feminine, your, your life is just simply blessed. So it's not a storm in that sense. But it's storm in a sense of getting in the way of this partnership. And what's getting in the way of this connection is multiple masculines. Or multiple men. Or multiple people who would like to be with the feminine who want to enter a new phase of life with the feminine and who have good solid offers this is this is emperors who have good solid offers but it's just you know you have to choose one 
you have to choose one and the one that's best for you thank you guys for watching this reading I do really highly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I pray for love into your life. I pray for decision. I pray that your masculines have made a decision that is best for them and that the one that you're supposed to be with makes a decision and knows that it's you. I pray abundance into your life. I pray for light, life, love, and more life. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I wish you all the best. Peace.